I'm Alkamish from the CF Engineering team. Today I'll show you a small demo on how to build and deploy Cold Fusion archives. It's a very simple procedure. What you need to do is go and log in your administrator and on the left hand side under the section of packaging and deployment select Cold Fusion archives. Now the first thing which you have got to do is create a new archive. Let's call our first archive my first archive. Now I will create it. You will get a pop up window in which you can select the settings and the resources of your server which you want to archive and deploy in another server. Now sometimes what will happen is that your pop up may not appear because your browser might be preventing it. Do take care of that. Now in the first screen which you see in this pop up you can see two buttons that's select all and deselect all. If you select all, all your uh, corresponding settings, resources, scheduled tasks, gateways, applets, rest services, etc. are going to get archived. But that's not necessarily what you will do all the time. You usually archive a subset of the setting and resources which you want to deploy to another server. Now the first thing which I will go is select a couple of settings under the setting called server settings. Now this is quite intuitive in nature. As you can see the name of the settings, you can see caching, variables, logging, mail, debugging. Now if you see your administrator and you see the left side, you will find all those settings, caching, settings, mail, logging. So these correspond to the settings which are there in those sections. I will select a couple of settings. I'll select caching and I'll select logging. Now let's go and archive resources also. I'll select data sources. Now the two data sources which I want to archive are say db2 underscore 91 and mysql5 enterprise dd. Let's select a couple of cold fusion tags. I'll select CF10 basic query and basic response. Now similarly you can select anything which you want. If you want to archive rest services, web services, schedule task, you can do accordingly. Now I will go and show you my archive summary. As you can see in the summary, the first thing which you can see is the archive name which was my first archive. And then we can see that I have selected two data sources. I have selected a couple of settings, caching and logging, which I did initially, if you remember. And I also did a couple of cold fusion tags. Now this is it. I'll close the window. And now let's build this archive. Now the build button looks like a hammer button and it's under the current archive definition list section. Now when I click on that, the first page which will be displayed to you is the archive summary. I'll click on next. Now I have to select a location in which I have to deploy this archive. And as you know, the extension of an cold fusion archive file is .car. Either you can create a new file or you can use an already existing one. If you use an already existing one, it's going to get overwritten. So I'll just browse the server. I'll select my C drive, uh, files, and then I'll select honeyduck.car. I'll just overwrite this one. Now you just need to press next. Now, as you can see, I get a small pop up saying build was successful. If the build wasn't successful, you would have got a pop-up which told you that there was an error and uh, you could have seen the error in the log files or also in this message column which you see right over here. Now our archive is ready. What we need to do is take this archive and deploy in another server. Now this was my local server. Now let me go to my remote server. I have transferred the archive file to a location from where I can access it. Now under the section of package and deployment, 
I will again go to Cold Fusion Archives. Now you can see deploy an existing archive. Now click browse server over there and select where you have the car file. Now my car file is in this location and select that and I will click on deploy. Now the first page again you will see the summary of the archive which you are going to deploy. Now this is the name of my car file. These are the two tags which I had selected, the data sources and the couple of settings. I'll just click on next and I will select deploy. Now I get a message that the deploy was successful. If there was any error, correspondingly I would have got an appropriate pop-up and you could have seen the error messages in the log files. I'll just click on OK and to see whether things have really been deployed, I will just show you the data sources. You can see the two data sources which I had selected, they are nicely deployed. Similarly, you can check for the other things. This was my demo on Cold Fusion Archives. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give us your feedback. Thank you.